What is going on everybody, Estas here, welcome back to another video. So in this video, like you guys read in the title, I'm going to be showing you all my updated M1 Finance portfolio, what the M1 Finance portfolio is looking like right now. And if you guys don't know, I'm doing a series where I'm actually building an M1 Finance portfolio from absolute scratch, and this episode that you're watching is the second episode. And the whole goal of this series is to show you guys full transparency, what I'm buying in terms of stocks and DTFs, the reasoning behind that, and kind of to show you guys how I'm investing my money right now. And for those of you all that watched the first episode, you saw that I started out the portfolio with $100, which is what you need to start out an M1 Finance portfolio. And since then, I've added another $150 to the portfolio, bringing it up to $250. And the goal here is in the next couple of months to grow this portfolio to a couple of thousands of dollars. So if you guys, again, are interested in seeing that, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. The playlist is linked down below so you can follow along with previous episodes and future episodes. And let's get into it, guys. Without further ado, let me minimize my screen here so you all can see my portfolio. Like I said, $115 plus $135. It is worth $250. And I have it split down here to five slices. That's what the current pie um, has. And the goal here, guys, is not to have a fully built out portfolio in a week or two. That is very unrealistic. When building a portfolio, it's going to take months, sometimes years, because you need to find the right opportunities in the stocks, right? In the ETFs. You're not just going to pick an ETF and then buy it when it's at the top. You're going to wait when it's at a good value, at a good dip to start buying. Or at least that's what I personally do, right? So $115.18 is what it's worth right now. I've seen a total gain of about $0.18 cents with a return of about 0.16% literally in one week. So I, again, I started building this out this past week. And if we go to my holdings, you guys can see exactly what I'm owning right now and how many shares that I'm personally owning at the cost, the average price. So Altria is right now my biggest position. AT&T, you guys see VEA, which is the Vanguard FTSC developed markets. I own some Alibaba and I own some 3M. And another really cool thing about M1 Finance that you may be noticing right now is that yes, you can have partial shares, which is why I own 0.72% here, 0.59, per, uh, not, not percent rather, 0.72 shares, 0.59 shares. And this is very good for people starting out with a smaller amount Amount of money and it allows you to buy into some of these stocks that may be priced a bit higher, which may be difficult to get into if you're not allowed to buy partial shares. So Altria, AT&T, VEA, BABA, and 3M. So let's just hop into, into the reasoning very quickly why I'm holding these in my portfolio. So Altria, for those of you guys that don't know, this is a company that does a lot of different things. It's mainly known as a tobacco company, and it sells Marlboro cigarettes here in the United States. That's the biggest brand that it sells, right? And that is not the reason that I'm actually in Altria. If it was the reason that would be pretty dumb, right? Because the tobacco industry is shrinking, you know, cigarette sales are shrinking. Sure, they have price power where they can increase the price of cigarettes, but the overall industry right now is shrinking. The reason why I love Altria right now is because of its two investments for future growth prospects. One of those is the investment in Kronos, which is a marijuana company. So they're having, you know, they're dipping their toes into the marijuana business, which I personally think as it legalizes across the United States is going to be huge. And it's also dipping its toes into the Juul, the Juul e-cigarette, the vape pen, the vape cigarette, nicotine cigarette, which I also think is going to be huge over these next couple of years. And it's already proven to be a success amongst people that are trying to lean off of cigarettes. So that is the reasoning behind my Altria investment. And if we hop here to Altria, it's at a very juicy starting dividend yield. So this is a company where I plan on reinvesting the dividends and building that compound interest over time. I'm loving this 6.56% dividend yield 
yield market cap at 91.3 billion with a pretty solid PE ratio here of 14.9 and if we hop over here to Altria guys you know this is a this is really an example here of not buying at the top I'm not looking to just buy into companies when they're at the top I like seeing value in companies before buying them and this one in particular a lot of the sin stocks a lot of the tobacco stocks are at values right now we hit this uh, the peak here at 66.50 now we're at about $48 per share which is actually a 25% dip from that peak about 25 26 percent dip so my next holding here is ATNT which is another one of those high dividend plays you guys can see here you know the price of ATNT right now is at thirty four dollars and thirty cents and its dividend yield right now starting out is just shy of six percent at five point nine five percent it's a pretty big company in terms of market cap at two hundred and fifty point three billion and its P.E. ratio shows a bit of value here at about 12.8. And just like M.O., guys, take a look at AT&T's chart. It's actually been doing quite well over these past couple of weeks. But over the longer term here on the three-year, one-week chart, you guys can see previous highs on AT&T a couple of years ago were at $43.50, which if you do the little calculation here, that's about a 20 to 21% dip from those peaks where we currently are right now at $34.30. So I do see some value right now in AT&T and I've been adding to this and actually my other portfolios as well. So I figured I'm going to add into it right here at $34.30. And my average share price is actually at $33.60. I have about $20 worth of AT&T right now, about 0.59 shares. And this is mostly guys a 5 5G play, which is the revolution of, you know, smartphones that's coming, that is coming here in the next couple of years. So in my opinion, you know, as 5G rolls out, you know, iPhone sales are going to start to do very well. This is going to pump up, you know, a lot of the uh, the communications companies, stock prices, in my personal opinion, boost up their revenues, their profits. I think the business is going to see a pretty good amount of growth from that. And another thing I like about AT TNT is the Warner Brothers acquisition and the fact that they're actually getting more into streaming right now, getting away from that, you know, traditional cable that is kind of in the past right now, in my personal opinion, that traditional cable route of buying cable television. And you may be asking yourself, Stas, don't you think AT&T has a lot of debt? They do have a lot of debt. Nobody can deny that. But what I do like about AT&T is their debt repayment program which is showing that they are taking action in repaying this debt quickly because that is what a lot of investors and shareholders want to see for the company to thrive and prosper you know over these next couple of years so the next holding that I have here is VEA Vanguard FTSC developed markets and this is really for me to dip my toes for the portfolio to dip its toes into some international developed markets that don't include include the United States. So this is the website of this ETF. This is on Vanguard. And if we just go to portfolio and management very quickly, and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, right? You know, Japan is the biggest market of this ETF, United Kingdom, France, Canada, Switzerland, Germany, Australia, Korea, Hong Kong, Netherlands, Spain. This is a way to just diversify in markets that don't include the United States. I think that is super, super important, right? And if we go back to the M1 Finance portfolio and we hit VEA, this also is a pretty nice dividend paying fund. It has about a 2.78% dividend yield. And when you're actually looking at ETFs, it's super important to to keep an eye on this expense ratio because that is what you're going to be paying for that fund to be kept up with, right? And that's a 0.05%, and that is super, super low, guys. That's super, super low, so I'm really liking that. And assets under management here, 72.6%. 
billion and you guys can see non-us stock cash us stock a very small amount here other 0.05 percent and preferred 0.01 percent it has about 4,000 holdings so it's a very diverse etf here and its inception date was on july 19th 2007 so the next couple of holdings here that i do have if we go to that alibaba this is really just to get some exposure in the chinese market this is at a decent value right now i don't think it's undervalued like it was a couple of months ago when it was $122 per share. If we go see Alibaba here, you know, we were at an, into the 120s and we took a dip to 150 recently this would have been a good opportunity to buy but i didn't actually have the m1 finance portfolio started there quite yet so i figured i buy in right now a couple of shares or really just a partial share here and the goal is not to have alibaba be too big of the portfolio right now i do think it is a little bit too large in my portfolio for my liking at about 20 percent and that will go down in time as i do get into some more of these companies that i do plan on on buying in. So that's really for the Chinese exposure and 3M wrapping back around to what I said a couple of minutes ago about a dividend king. 3M is a dividend king. And you may be asking yourself, what the heck is a dividend king? And what a dividend king is, is a company that has grown their revenues by, or rather their dividend, 50 consecutive years. And you guys can see if we scroll down here, 3M has raised their dividend for 60 years, which is absolutely crazy right and if we go to m1 finance again you guys can see right now the price of 3m is 172 dollars the dividend yield right now is a 3.35 percent which is a very good starting yield for a company that's growing their yield pretty nicely here with a payout ratio at about 50 60 percent which is super low and what that means guys is 50 60 percent of their earnings that they're getting every quarter are being paid out or rather every year are being paid out in the form of dividends right so you guys can see if you go to their eps right now i think it's like nine ten dollars they're paying out five five dollars and fifty cents in terms of dividends and a lot of these companies that i do hold here guys before we do wrap up you know a lot of these companies are more stable companies they're not in the growth phase and this is because these are the companies right now that i'm seeing value in and and i'm not going to go out there and start buying apple amazon you know some of these growth stocks at the valuations they're at this is what i'm talking about building a portfolio it takes time and once those companies come down you know some of these small cap ETFs some of these growth ETFs I'm going to start buying in more of those but right now the value is just not there for me which is why you see the portfolio right now is more conservative more of a dividend portfolio and that's just how it is right now but overall guys in a couple of months I want this portfolio to be more focused on you know, a growth. I want it to be more of a growth income portfolio, not too conservative. I want to have some conservative, you know, maybe a bond ETF, maybe a couple of, you know, slower companies, slower growth companies, like more 3M, AT&T, Altria, stuff like that. But I do want to have some Apples, Amazons, you know, small cap growth, small cap value, some more growth stocks in this portfolio when the time comes. So that is it for this portfolio update and if you guys actually want to sign up for m1 finance there's a link down below and right now they're actually giving twenty dollars if you sign up and put in one hundred dollars using my link and think about it guys that's a twenty percent return right off the bat by using the link if you put in a hundred dollars you get twenty dollars back which is very good and this is only running for the month of july so that's linked down below if you guys enjoyed the video feel free to like the video if you guys want to see more content for me more updates to the m1 finance portfolio hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and also drop a comment down below let me know what you guys thought about it so i appreciate all you watching i'll catch you all in the next video peace out